Well, it's a chilly night in central Indiana. We're seeing some of the coldest air of the season so far right now. But except for a couple of days of flurries or light snow earlier this month, we really haven't seen much snow yet this season, at least not so far. So, so where is the snow? That's the question. <laughs> that is a good That's question right. as Brian Wilkes chuckles over there. Yeah, <laughs> you can keep it. By All right. Way. So okay. yeah, give us the outlook, though, because well, I know a lot of people are wondering. Dan has already weighed in on that uh, yeah. already. I mean, it'll you be know, nice around Christmas, maybe. Absolutely. But. I think yeah. most folks will agree that we can just get some snow around Christmas and be done with it. Beyond that point, they'd be thrilled. But you know, there are a lot of folks that make money on winter weather, especially snow removal, and that has really been a tough business to come by. It seems like we've been out of service when it comes to snowfall, and despite having some decent snow late in February last year, Year. We went through almost all of December and January with little bit in the way of snowfall. You know, the seasonal snowfall last year wound up being at 24.2 uh, inches. Our prediction was for about 20 inches of snow. Two inches of that fell in April. And look at this, from February the 15th on, the day after Valentine's Day essentially, we picked up nearly 60% of our seasonal snowfall with a February that was uh, produced almost a foot of snow. So that was the nastiest part of our winter. Well, a typical winter pattern will involve in, in this fashion. This is typical, right? Uh, this would be blocking up in the uh, Alaska and up towards Greenland, but that's been missing. A Greenland block is what meteorologists refer to a bubble of high pressure that could lock in colder air in the northeastern U.S. And the subtropical jet stream and the polar jet stream marrying would produce some decent snowstorms but that will not be the case this year. We're once again replaying last winter's setup where cool waters out in the equatorial regions of the Pacific will lead to a subtropical jet stream that will meander further north from time to time and really kind of keep the cold air locked up. Doesn't mean we'll be absent of bitter cold air, but it does mean that the majority of our storm systems will probably be the types that we call clippers, Alberta clippers, and those are not typically loaded with moisture. And we could have some volatile temperature swings too. We could have spells of warm weather followed by cold weather, but only brief shots of it, similar to what's happening right now. Our winter outlook from the National Weather Service, higher probability of above normal temperatures and typical with a La Nina, it does favor a wetter winter. But does that always translate into snow? Well, not necessarily. So while El Nino conditions will develop, which means that we'll have a higher probability of a warmer than normal temperatures, our snowfall, which typically, what, more than 50% of them are on the small side. It only takes one big snow. But this year, we figure that the first half of our winter will be lacking snowfall. We could have some decided mild spells in December and January. I would not be surprised if we get a couple of 60 degree days in December and in January. January, and it could be one of those winters, much like last year, that were backloaded with the snowfall in February. Again, we're expecting sub-average snowfall this season, probably under the 25.5. We're putting that number at about 22. So, in terms of our winters, maybe we're on easy street again. But remember, it only takes one big snowstorm, and that's uh, yeah. that could sway your entire opinion of a winter right. uh, just on that one snow alone. We'll see what happens. We know it's coming soon, that's yes. for sure. And in our weather coming up, we got a, a nice warm up before Thanksgiving, so we'll oh, delve right. into the seven day forecast coming up in about 15 minutes. All right, we'll okay. look for you then, Brian. All Thanks. right. So you can get that winter weather outlook sent right to your phone. Just text the word winter to the number you see there on your screen 632 5900.